The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 31. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 24th, 1973, in London, England. Translation I do not see how any good can come from killing my own kinsmen in this battle, nor can I, my dear Krishna, desire any subsequent victory, kingdom, or happiness. So, <clears throat> there are two things, Shreya and Preya. Here, Arjuna is speaking of Shreya. Shreya means ultimate good. And Preya means immediately palatable. That is called Preya. So, everyone should be interested for Shreya, not for prayer. Just like a child, he likes to play all day and night, naturally. Playful child. That is called prayer. He likes immediate pleasure. But his father says, my dear child, just go to school uh, or read book. So father is asking for Shreya, ultimate good. If he is not educated at the at childhood, then how he will prosper in his future life. So considering the future prospect, ultimate good, that is called Shreya. And prayer means immediate. Uh, just like we eat something uh, which I may not digest or it may have some bad effect later on. But people are interested the immediate uh, benefit without calculation of future benefit. The Arjuna is considering uh, um, with reference to his future that if I kill my kinsmen, uh, what benefit there will be? Uh, I want victory, I want kingdom to become happy. But if my all kinsmen are killed, then what is the value of my victory? Uh, with whom I shall enjoy? He is thinking like that. Uh, society is the same thing. Society, fancy Allah. Everyone wants to enjoy life with society, friends. Nobody wants to enjoy life alone. That is not possible. <clears throat> this is not natural. So where from we got this idea that I cannot enjoy alone? Just like generally a person is alone, but he gets a wife with a whole for enjoying family life, children, wife, friend, griha chetra, atha griha chetra sutapa vittai. Griha means apartment, and chetra means land. Griha chetra suta, suta means children. Atha griha chetra suta apta. After means friends, society. Ata griha chetra sutapta vittri. Apta means friends, society. And to support all these things, griha chetra suta apta, there is required money, vittva. Vittva means money. 
अत बृहत क्षेत्र सुतार्थ वित्त जनस्व मोहयम अहम ममेती दिस इज मेटीरियल लाइफ गृह क्षेत्र आई मस्ट है गृह गृह मीन्स विथ वाइफ न गृह गृह इतम गृहिणी गृह इताहु गृह गृह मीन्स हाउस सो वी आर ऑल्सो लिविंग इन हाउस वेरी नाइस हाउस बट स्टील वी आर नॉट गृहस्थ गृह टू लिव इन ए हाउस डज नॉट मेन ए गृहस्थ न गृह गृह इताहु गृहस्थ मीन्स गृह गृह तिष्ठति गृहस्थ एवरी संस्कृत वर्ड हेज कॉट इलेवन मिनिंग गृहस्थ मीन्स वन हु स्टेज इन गृह इन हाउस इज कॉल गृहस्थ सो वी कैन बी कॉल गृहस्थ ऑल्सो वी आर लिविंग इन हाउस नो शास्त्र से न गृह गृह मिताहु सिंपली हाउस इज नॉट गृह देन मस्ट बी द हाउस वाइफ दैट मीन्स वाइफ गृहिणी गृह मिताहु इन हिंदी दिस वर्ड इज यूज गरवाली मैंने इफ देर इज नो वाइफ दैट इज नॉट गृह and another chanakya pandit says putra hinam griham sunnam you have got wife but if you have no children that griha is also boy so grihastha means to live with wife and children and uh, cultivating spiritual life that is called griha It doesn't matter. You live with your wife and children, or you live with brahmachari, sannyasi, anything. Uh, it doesn't matter. Therefore, there are so many divisions of life. Whichever status of life is suitable for you, you can accept. Brahmachari, grihastha, bana prastha, sannyasi, ashram, ashram. When the word is added, ashram, that means it has got reference. with cultivation of spiritual life so grihastha ashram one can live at home with wife and children but the business should be krishna consciousness we don't accept the mayavadi sannyasi because there is no krishna consciousness simply by becoming sannyasi brahma satya jagan mithya this world is false Brahma is true. So I give up this world. So that kind of sannyasi we do not accept. Either you become grihastha or sannyasi or brahmachari. There must be Krishna. Then it will be called ashram. Grihastha ashram, sannyasa ashram, brahmachari ashram. Therefore, this word is added ashram. <coughs> so, Arjuna is in Gihastha Ashram. He wants to serve Krishna. He is Krishna's friend. He is a devotee. Krishna has already recommended uh, in the uh, fourth chapter. He declared, "Bhakto si, piyo si, you are my dear friend." You are my devotee, so he is qualified grihastha ashram. He is devotee of Krishna, but he is also family man. He has his wife, children. So here the problem is, uh, what is shreya? What is ultimate good? Uh, that is mistaken here. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is required. He is thinking that Krishna is not so important. 
My family is important. My family is important. Always devotee. Uh, therefore, Konishta Dikari, in the lower stage of devotion, uh, in the lower stage of devotion, one may be interested in Krishna consciousness, but his real interest is how to improve this material life. Uh, just like, O oh God, give us our daily bread. So he has gone to God, not to serve God, but to take bread. Artho uh, Arthati. That is also good. But he, because he has gone to God to ask for bread, he is better than the rascals who do not care for God. Uh, he has gone to God. That is recommended in the Bhagavad Gita. Artho Arthati Jignasi Gani Chavaratapsa. Chaturvita Bhajante Mao Sukriti Naoju. Or John, four kinds of people, they become devotees. Who are they? Artha. Artha means distress. Or thirty. One is poor, wants some money. Jigyasu, inquisitive, and gany, and man of knowledge. So artha or thirty, they, this is meant, this is referred to the grihastha. The grihastha, they become sometimes distressed. But the grihastha asram means unless there is Krishna or full consciousness of Krishna, it is simply miserable. Simply miserable. Dukhalam. Asasatam. Uh, simply working hard day and night, then there is child is sick, their wife is not satisfied, the servant is not satisfied, so many things, problems. But if there is Krishna in the center, the all problems will be solved. But people do not know this. Uh, they think that I shall be happy with wife, children, servants, house, and this and that. No, that's not possible. Therefore one should be in grihastha ashram, not only in family life. Family, the dogs have got family life. He has got wife, children, the cats and the hogs, big family. Uh, because a hog uh, begets at a time one dozen children. Uh, what do you beget? Uh, you are afraid of begetting one child in this contraceptive method. But they are not afraid. Uh, they beget uh, one dozen children at a time, twice in a year. So to live with family, wife, children, then the hog excels uh, family life. No, that is not family life. To live with wife, children uh, peacefully, if you like, but bring in Krishna. In the center. That is Grihastas. So Arjuna is uh, talking of the ultimate goal. But he is talking ultimate goal uh, with the point of view from material conception. He does not know. He knows, but he is playing the part of a person who does not know. That ultimate Sreya, ultimate goal is Krishna. Ultimate good is not that we live with family, that is good. No. When you live with family because you cannot uh, renounce, so that is allowed. But you live with family with Krishna. So Krishna is there, but he is thinking in terms of material good. That if my uh, kinsmen are dead, I kill them, then where is my good? There is no good. What, what shall I do with the victory? And happiness. Where is happiness? I cannot live without them. This is the concept. Atak griha, atak griha kheta sutapta vittai janasya mohoyam. This is illusion. Everyone is trying to become happy 
with society, friends, even love, children, wife, friends, money, and house, and land. This is the conception of material. So Arjuna is thinking in material concept of life. He is not thinking that my ultimate goal is to satisfy Krishna. Oh, this is the Bhagavad Gita's purpose. That is Krishna consciousness. One has to change to satisfy Krishna, not to satisfy himself or the family or the society or the nation. No. Whether Krishna is satisfied, that is the criteria. That is the ultimate goal. Kashmin to stay Jagatush. If Krishna is satisfied, then other things will be automatically satisfied. But they do not know. They are thinking that I can bring Krishna in the midst of my family, provided Krishna helps me to enjoy this material life. They are thinking that is artha. But that is also good. Just like Guru Maharaj, he was artha. Artha means he wanted something material, benefit. Uh, his stepmother insulted him that you cannot sit down on the lap of your father because you are not born in my womb. He was Khatriya, he took it, insult. So his father had two wives. So he was born the eldest queen. The father was not very much attached to the eldest queen. The father was attached to the uh, junior queen. And the junior queen was very proud that the king is in my hand. So he, she insulted. The father was not happy. They, although Dhrumar was born of the eldest queen, and it is sometimes liking, so that does not mean he did not like his son. So he wanted to sit down on the lap of his father and the stepmother inside. So he took it very seriously. And uh, he wanted to have the kingdom. This is orthati. He wanted something. And his mother advised that you take shelter of Krishna, he can fulfill your desire. Uh, so therefore, artha orthati. He was distressed at the same time he wanted a kingdom by the grace of Krishna. That was his purpose. So, uh, because he went to worship Krishna for some material benefit, he is to be taken as pious. Chaturvidā bhajante maṁ sukritino. Sukritino means pious. Kriti means very expert uh, in acting, uh, worldly activities. So one who are engaged in pious activities, they are called sukriti. There are two kinds of activities. Impious activities, sinful activities, and pious activities. So one who goes to pray in the church or in the temple, uh, oh God give us our daily bread, or God give me some money, or God give me uh, relief from this distress, they are also pious. They are not impious. Uh, the impious people, they will never surrender to God, Krishna. Namāga duskitunam mūrā prapadyante narādhama. These class of men, sinful men, rascal, lowest of the mankind, whose knowledge has been taken away by māyā and demon, these classes of men will never surrender to God. Therefore, Mm-hmm. They are duskriti, no? impious. So Krishna is pious, but he still he wants the family benefit. This is his defect, Arjuna. Family prosperity. He wants to be happy with society, friends, and love. Therefore he says that nakanke vijayana. This is called vairag. Sasan vairag. It is called uh, smashan vaila. Smashan means that in India the Hindus 
they burn the dead body. So relatives take the dead body for burning to the burning ghat. And when the body is burned, they everyone present there. For the time being, they become little renowned. Oh, this is the body. Uh, we are working for this body. Now it is finished. It is burnt into ashes. So what is the benefit? Uh, this kind of vairāgva, renouncement is there. But as soon as it comes from the burning heart, he again uh, begins his activities. In the sāsāṁ, in the burning heart, he becomes renounced. And as soon as come home, again he is vigorous, vigorous, how to work, how to get money, how to get money, how to get money. So this kind of vairāgva is called sāsāṁ vairāgva, it's temporary. Uh, he cannot become vairāgi. And he says, nakāṁ ke I don't want victory. I don't want this. Uh, this is temporary sentiment. Uh, temporary sentiment. These people, they are attached to family life. They may say like that, that I don't want this uh, happiness. Don't want this very nice position, victory, I don't want. But he wants everything. He wants everything because he does not know what is this Sreya. Uh, Sreya is Krishna. Actually when one gets Krishna or Krishna consciousness, then he can say that I don't want this. Uh, they will not say that. Uh, why they will say don't want this? Here, what we have got? Suppose I have got a kingdom. So, that is my kingdom? No. That is Krishna's kingdom. Uh, because Krishna says, Bhoktaram Jagadamasam, Sarvalopa Mahesam. He is the proprietor. I may be his representative. Uh, Krishna wants that everyone should be Krishna conscious. So the king's duty is, as representative of Krishna, to make every citizen Krishna conscious. Then he is doing nice duty. And because the monarchs did not do so, therefore now the monarchy is abolished everywhere. <coughs> Say again, the monarchs, where there is monarchy, little at least show of monarchy, just like here in England, there is. He actually, if the monarch becomes Krishna conscious, actually becomes representative of Krishna, then the whole face of the kingdom will change. Oh. That is required. Our Krishna consciousness movement is for that purpose. We don't uh, very much like the so-called democracy. What is the value of this democracy? All fools and rascals, they vote another fool and rascal, and he becomes prime minister, and he becomes uh, just like <coughs> uh, in so many cases. Uh, that is not good for the people. We are not uh, for this so-called democracy, because they are not trained. If the king is trained, that was the system of monarchy, just like Yudhishthira Maharaj or Arjun. Uh, and anyone, all the kings, Rajarsi, they were called Rajarsi. Imam vivasati yugam pruttamanaham abhyam vivasana manabhi prahu manuikha kavi bravit evam parampara praptam imam Rajarsayo vidu. Rajarsayo. Rajarsayo king means he is not only king, he is a great rishi, saintly person, just like Maharaj, Yudhishthi, or Arjuna. They are saintly person. Uh, they are not ordinary, these uh, drunkard kings, that I have got so much money, let me drink, and let the, let the dancing of the prostitute. Not like that. Uh, they are rishi, although they were king, they are rishi. That kind of king want. Rajas, then people will be happy. Uh, in Bengali there is a problem. Rajar pape rajya nashto. 
गिन्नी दोषे गृहस्थ भ्रष्ट इन 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 गृहस्थ लाइफ इन हाउस होल्ड लाइफ इफ दी वाइफ इज नॉट गुड देन नो बडी विल बी हैप्पी इन दैट गृहस्थ लाइफ हाउस होल्ड लाइफ सिमिलरली इन ए किंग डाउन इफ द किंग इज इम्पायर देन एवरीथिंग एवरी वन इज सफर दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम so krishna arjun is thinking of the shreya and priya actual shreya means to uh, achieve uh, krishna consciousness uh, that is wanting uh, in arjun uh, he is showing that feature of life that he wants better the society friends he will love he does not want to kill them Uh, then everything will be finished. But actually, the fact is that even after killing the so-called kinsman, if he can satisfy Krishna, that is his prayer. That is his prayer. That he does not. And because he does not know, therefore, this Bhagavad Gita is there. He is playing the part that he does not know. That Krishna is the ultimate goal of life, not the so-called society principle. Uh, he is playing that part that he does not. He is thinking that Krishna is not important. Krishna has already asked him to fight, but he is considering uh, the Krishna. You are asking me to fight, and I have to kill my own kinsman. Then when my victory? Uh, uh, therefore, he said. Uh, Uh, here in the previous verse, he has said, "Pashami bipuri tani ki." You are asking me to fight for my victory, for my happiness, but I see it will be just the opposite. Pashami bipuri tani. This is his problem, and to solve this problem, uh, Arjun became the disciple of Krishna, and Krishna advised him this Bhagavad Gita, and. That is the uh, pillow. That unless Arjun plays like that, an ordinary man, anyone, everyone wants to be happy with this griha chetra sutapa vittu, uh, household life, and having some land. Uh, now, they, uh, in those days, there was no industry. Therefore, industry is not meant land. Uh, if you got land, then you can produce your food. Uh, And actually, that is our life. Here in this village, we find so much land, nine bacon, but they are not producing their food. They make their food the cows, poor cows, to kill them and eat. This is not good. Grihat chetra, you become grihastha, but you produce your food from the land, grihat chetra. And when you produce food, then we get ill. Grihat chetra suto apta vit. In India, in village, uh, there is still this system <coughs> amongst the poor man, the cultivators. The if the cultivator cannot provide to keep a cow, he will not marry. Joru and Goru. Joru means wife. And Goru means cow. So one should keep a wife uh, if he is able to keep a cow also, Joru and Goru. Because if you keep a wife, immediately there will be children. But if you cannot give them cows, male, the children will be weak, rickety, uh, not uh, very healthy. They must drink sufficient meal. <coughs> so cow is therefore considered mother, uh, because one mother has given birth to the child, the another mother is supplying milk. <coughs> so everyone should be obliged to mother cow, because she is supplying milk. Uh. <coughs> so according to our shastra, there are seven mothers, adu mata, real mother. From whose body I have taken my birth, Adho Mata, Sis Mata, Guru Patni, the 
Uh, why Bob teacher? He is also mother. Adho mata guru patni, brahmani. The wife of a brahman. He, she is also mother. Adho mata guru patni, brahmani, rajapatni ka. The queen is mother. Uh, so how many? Adho mata guru patni, brahmani, uh, rajapatni ka. Then dhenu. Dhenu means cow. She is also mother. And dhatri, dhatri means nars. Uh, then dhatri, tatha apriti, also the earth. Earth is also mother. Then the people are uh, taking care of motherland where he is born. That is good. But by the, why? They should take care of mother cows also. But they are not taking care of mother. Therefore they are simple. Uh, they must suffer. Uh, they must have, there must be war, pestilence, famine. Um, as soon as people become sinful, immediately nature's punishment will come out of it. You cannot avoid it. Uh, therefore, Krishna consciousness movement means solution of all problems. Uh, teaching people not to become sinful. Because a sinful man cannot become Krishna conscious. To become Krishna conscious means that he has to give up his sinful activities. Thank you.